Well, as Tim Panday just reported on last week, Colorado State University released its latest hurricane outlook for the season. No big changes. We're still expecting an above normal season. The only thing that they did change was that they upped all of the numbers. And the reason driving this is just the abnormally warm water temperatures out here in the Atlantic, all the red indicating water temperatures above normal for this time of year. But that's not the only factor that we look at when it comes to seasonal forecasting. No, we've got an El Nino developing here in the eastern Pacific. It's strengthening. That's indicated by the warm water temperatures temperatures over here as well. So let's talk about what El Nino means in the context of hurricane development. Again, it's just characterized by warmer water in the Pacific around the equator. Now what that does is it pulls the jet stream farther south, which then leaves more wind stream for the Gulf of Mexico, for the Caribbean and even the Western Atlantic. Now so far this season, we haven't seen a lot of wind shear indicated by the blue line. Notice we're actually at a low for the season to see uh, a decrease in tropical activity, we would need to see that blue line go up, which would mark an increase in wind shear, which would shred any developing storms apart. So bottom line, the atmosphere is a balancing act. Right now we're torn between a developing and a strengthening El Nino and very warm water temperatures in the Atlantic. Right now, hurricane forecasters believe the warm water temperatures will win out, but if the El Nino strengthens enough, we'll have enough wind shear and that could overtake any developing storms. Bottom line though, as we go into the season, all it takes is one and so you always need to be prepared.